on tap at Columbus Beer Fest. Hi, welcome to another special episode of the Better Beer Authority. I'm James Knott, and we are coming to you from the Columbus Convention Center at the Columbus Beer Fest. This is the second of four special episodes that we're shooting here from the Beer Fest. How's this one different? Instead of reviewing beers, we're going around and finding our recommendations. So these are the beers that these guys are most excited about. Let's go to it. Scott, what beer have you found that you're excited about? You know, it's, it's interesting. I didn't really take myself to uh, be one that would like milk stouts, but left-handed milk stout, left hand, excuse me, milk stout, great beer. Try it. It's kind of got a toasted, chocolatey, it really is kind of like a chocolate liqueur, chocolate milk. I mean, it has a great flavor. It's not overwhelming by any means. It's something you could probably drink. I mean, a regular stout, I mean, I'd drink three or four. This one, you could probably continue the night drinking fist, hand over fist. I mean, it's a great beer. Okay, so what do you think of the beer fest? I mean, are you having a fun time here? I'm having a great time. I mean, it's given me a chance to, obviously we've, we've tried quite a few beers as a group, but I mean, we have 150 plus beers here. And left-handed milk stout isn't one that I normally would have sought out, just, I guess, maybe my aversion to the word milk in a beer, but, I mean, again, and I keep, it's obvious that I haven't had it many times. I keep calling it left-handed when it's left-hand milk stout, but it's great. It's just an opportunity to try many different beers that you wouldn't have normally had the opportunity to try. Okay, Joby, give us your recommendation. James, this time around, I went with Gordon Biersch Maybach. Okay, what do you like about it? Well, this beer, you know, I just drink it. It's just really refreshing. It's well-balanced. There's nothing overpowering about it. It's just a well-balanced, smooth beer. Um, I found it interesting. I was talking to the brewer, the local brewmaster here in Columbus, Ohio, Chris Altmont, and he was telling me that the, the bottled beer and the brewery in the local restaurants for Gordon Beers is actually different. Um, the Maybach here comes out from April to May, um, so it's about to, to go off the menu, but you know, every local Gordon Bears brewery has their own uh, leeway, if you will, to play with a certain type of beer, to make it a little different at every, every Yeah, restaurant. I thought, I heard that tonight too, I thought that was something pretty unique, that, that Gordon Bears, they actually give their restaurants a little leeway to step outside of the corporate uh, branding, so that's pretty neat. Adam. Uh, what do you think? What, what beer are you recommending? I'm going with uh, Rope, String, Rope Swing Summer Pilsner. Uh, it's from the Red Hook Brewing Company. They have two locations in New Hampshire and Washington. Um, it's a really great beer. It's a, it's a summer beer. With, uh, it's it very refreshing, but it has a little bit of a smoky flavor that goes along with it. Uh, so it, it was a, it, Really? It was a, I don't usually associate smokiness with summer. But it would go really well with like a cookout or something like that. It, it is very refreshing. It's clean and crisp. It doesn't have any aftertaste, but it does. But it is. It does have a, a hint of smokiness to it. It's not sweet like you would think for a normal summer pilsner. I, I don't usually give my recommendations, but I was so happy with Rivertown Dunkel Lager that I have to say you got to try this beer. It's made in Cincinnati. We talked to the brewer. He's a really cool guy and uh, Rivertown Dunkel. All right, that's it for this episode from the Columbus Beer Fest, Columbus Convention Center, Columbus, Ohio. How many Columbuses can you have? I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.